Brakti Hawa Brakatha Yahusha Brakti Hawa Brakatha Yahusha Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers. Teaching and truth and in sincerity, lesson will be entitled. No man shall buy you. Lord will you are edified. I will not play this video because of in fear of a strike. Okay, Master P may report me. Ah, the ice cream man. But anyway, in this video, he is addressing his father. Okay, and he's also talking about the importance of breaking generational curses. Now, P's narrative support a carnality perspective. All right, via the scriptures, we know. No matter how much money you make, okay, you cannot outrun, avoid the curses. All right. This is all spiritual. And it came from our spiritual father. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 32 and... Thirty. How shall one chase a thousand and to put ten thousand to flight by one individual, one Israelite, except that rock had sold them and the Lord Yahweh had shut them up? Now, the reason why our entire nation suffer. Generational curses is because our rock, referring to Yahweh, shut us up, okay? He sold us. He stopped protecting us. And why did this happen? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, future tense, if you will not listen unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, your power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses, hence generational curses, okay, in the form of indignation, which means righteous anger of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, to come against the Israelites. Why? Because we said, I do, to the Most High, to be his spiritual woman. And we committed spiritual fornication and therefore comes on, comes on our nation, okay, the existence of the curses, which are generational curses, shall come on you and overtake you, all right? Another key point, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, and the Lord Yahweh shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. Who would do this? Who would do this? Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. By the way whereof I spoke unto you, you shall see it no more again, and you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Why? Why? Because our rock sold us. Okay? Our rock, Yahweh, sold us. And the only way we are able to get this grace period is because of our big brother, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the only man that can save us. So all of Jake that sell their souls, okay, to receive earthly riches. However, these generational curses are still active, okay?
Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad. So lucky I had to step away from the phone. A hey, Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Okay, the daughter of Edom is referring to so-called white people based on the lineage of their fathers that dwell in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto you, meaning what? Slavery, these generational curses. You shall be drunken and shall make yourself naked. Verse 22. The punishment of your iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion. Okay. O daughter of Zion is a representation for the nation of Israel beginning with the elect. And guess what? The punishment of your iniquity is accomplished. Meaning these generational curses. And... These generational curses will be transferred to the nation of Edom, trickling down to these other nations in the kingdom of heaven. He will no more carry you away into captivity. Who is he referring to our rock? Yahweh Basham Yahushai. He will visit your iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover your sins. So Esau is going to pay. And so just like our people are down and out within Esau's rulership, but Esau is going to be down and out within our rulership. Okay? Deuteronomy 37, and the Lord Yahweh, your power will put all these curses on your enemies in the kingdom of heaven and on them that hate you, which persecute you. Okay, so at this time frame, the curses are fading away from the nation of Israel because we are in the end of Esau's rulership. Okay. However, they will be completely done away with during the arrival of Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 63 and verse 1. Who is this that come from Edom? Okay. With dyed garments from Basra. America is modern day Basra. Okay. And Basra was a capital city. Okay. Of um, the nation of Edom. All right. This that is glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Referring to that mighty fathership I the speak in righteousness mighty to save so Yahweh Shai will save the elect and Lord will we are the elect from those spiritual curses okay and from the destruction of America okay as well as the non-elect scattered throughout the four corners of the world who are Israelites based on the lineage of their father lineage of their fathers no matter how they look. But the point is, I they speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Okay, so P, you're not breaking nothing. Okay, you're not breaking nothing. Only Yahweh Shai. Last precept, let's get Daniel chapter 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom by way of Yahweh Shah and possess the kingdom forever by way of Yahweh Shah, even forever and ever. And this is an example or this supports everlasting life. Verse 27 And the kingdom and dominion 
and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven, meaning what? The kingdom of Yahweh will rule the entire world forever. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints, which are Israelites, beginning with the elect. And at this time frame, we will have everlasting um, generational blessings. Okay. And to support what I said, let me go to Deuteronomy. Um, it's like I'm tripping. Chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass if you if you shall listen diligently unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh, your power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord Yahweh, your power, will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And this will happen. Okay, because we will be joined to the Most High through Yahweh Shai. Okay, now remember the second covenant, the new covenant will be activated, meaning we will have extraterrestrial bodies. Okay, so automatically we will be designed to always keep the law, statutes, and the commandments and never break a single law. All right. Back into Daniel 7 and 27 shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. And the reason why we will have an everlasting kingdom because of the new covenant. Okay? The law, statutes, and the commandments being implanted in our spirits. So, Master P, uh, you ain't breaking shit, okay? As long as an Israelite dwells on earth, okay, prior to Yahweh's arrival, generational curses will be activated or exercised. Lord will your edify, Shalom.